Hello first graders, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some more work with long A. Remember if an A is long, or any vowel, that vowel says its name. So in the case of A, a long A says A, of course. Now we have learned long A before. When we learned it before, we learned it through a CBCE pattern. So let's review that right now. So take a look at these three pictures. Think about what long A word they might be, and we'll find out. A cape. K A cape. I noticed that with cape, there are four letters. C A P E. But I only hear three sounds. K A cape. That's because of our good friend, the magic E, who was silent, of course. Next, we have the word plain. Ooh, plain, plain. That one has five letters, but four sounds. And last, we have the word wave. What wave, wave. What are these three? This first one's an interesting word. It's the word whale. Whale, whale, has a diagraph there. So that one has one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five letters, but three sounds. Next we have the word cane, 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 and the word gate, gate, gate. So now we're gonna move on to reading words with our new vowel pairs that we learned yesterday. Remember we learned two new vowel pairs that make a long A sound. See if you remember what those vowel pairs were. Those vowel pairs are A-I and A-Y. Remember we learned that A-Y usually comes at the end of a word and A-I is usually in the middle of a word. Let's see if we can read some words with long A. So I'll put these letters up here and give you a minute to think about it. See if you can tell what that word says. That's the word pain. 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 Notice that both letters in the vowel pair are on the same tile. And I bet you know why. It's because just like a digraph, although there are two letters, they only make one sound. Here's our next word. Oh, I noticed that A-Y is at the end of a word this time. I also noticed we have a blend at the beginning. This is the word tray. T -o -a, tray. Uh-oh, spaghetti-o. We got a long one. Ooh, a lot going on there. I noticed that the vowel pair is A-I, and it's in the middle of a word. This is something you all have. This is the word brain. 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 You guys have brilliant brains, don't you? Oh, a teeny tiny. Oh, what is that teeny tiny word? word say. 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 Oh, another teeny tiny. Notice that has the very same ending and the same vowel sound, which must, must mean it rhymes with the word we just had. If that word was say, this one must be ray. Or a ray. And our last one's a big one. Wow. This reminds me a lot of the word brain, which we just had. You know this one? This one's the word drain. D or a drain. Now remember, if the donut comes first, it's a D. And if the back of the letter comes first, 
it's a B, right? So I see a donut, which must mean that is the letter B. Okay, it's time to get your reader's notebooks out. So you'll need your reader's notebook and a pencil. Go ahead and hit pause on me until you're all set. So in your reader's notebook today, we'll be doing two pages. The first page is page 33. Why don't you find page 33? When you're on page 33, I'm sure you can tell what we're doing today. You have to read the two words and circle the word that matches the picture. Notice that this one is not pointing to the whole sun. It's just pointing to something that's coming off of the sun. So think about that as you read those two words. And then the second page we'll be doing today is page 40. On page 40, we have lots of vowel pairs, A-I and A-Y. You're gonna write the spelling words that rhyme in these different areas. So up here, we're gonna write the spelling words that rhyme with the word fail. Down here, we're gonna write spelling words that rhyme with the word bay. And down here, you're gonna write spelling words that rhyme with the word main. All right, my little readers. I hope your vowel pairs went well today. I'm sure they did because you're all so brilliant. All right, I'll see you later for some more first grade fun. Bye.